We're here with Coach Ronnie Huckabee today. Thanks for coming back, Spirituality and Sports. Coach, you're retiring at the end of this season. Why now? Well, I have, uh, this is the end of my 31st year coaching here at Hardy. It's uh, my 40th year in coaching and my 50th year in football. And uh, it was important to me that I. Uh, Some good round numbers. There. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was important to me that I, that I coach with passion and energy throughout my coaching career. And there's no question that as you age, you, you tend to lose some of that. Uh, I want to be involved in the lives of my children and grandchildren. I have three children and ten grandchildren. Uh, they are all in northwest Arkansas. And I, I, I want to be able to watch them play sports and do those things that you are allowed that that you're able to do if you're if you have a little bit more free time now as you know i we talked about this earlier i'm going to work continue to work for harding and i'm really excited about that because i want to continue to be of service to this university that has meant so much to me but uh, also in addition to that i have a dynamite successor in paul simmons and Paul is ready to take the reins of this program, and I know he's going to do a fantastic job and continue to take it to heights that we haven't been able to reach. And, uh, and because of that, it just, it just makes it the right time. We spoke earlier of uh, Coach Tom Osborne, who is a man of faith. And, right. and uh, interestingly, he retired at a similar uh, stage in his life and handed it over to a longtime assistant, uh, right. Frank Solich. Talk a little bit about what Coach Simmons brings, what, what do you see for the future of this program, both from a character perspective and an on the field? Obviously, there's no question he can coach defense. Right. Well, you know, I was involved in Paul's recruiting when he was a high school senior. When he came to Harding, he started out at a different position, and then I became his position coach. And I coached him the entire time he was here, and I performed his wedding. Uh, we were fortunate to hire him to come back and help us in 2005. Since I became the head coach in 2007, he's been my right-hand man. And uh, he is a dynamite recruiter. He is a fantastic defensive coach. He has a great understanding of the big picture of the entire game. But the thing that is best about him and, and what we would want for anybody that was going to lead the football program here at Harding is he is a wonderful Christian mentor for these young men. Uh, he is a great family man. Uh, he values his relationships, and he, he relates so well with the players. Players love him, and rightfully so. So because of all those things, uh, he is the ideal choice. We could not go out and find anybody in the country that would be a better leader for this program than Paul Simmons. And, and I'm, as I said earlier, that makes my decision that much easier. Favorite verse and why? Uh, that's a that's a really tough one. Uh, there's no bad ones. I know there's there, no wrong answers. Here. I know there's not. People uh, not, not fav uh, favorites about the genealogies, but you know. You know Proverbs three. Uh, you know talks about uh, if you commit your plans to the Lord, He'll take care of you. You'll make your path straight. Uh, there, there are so many verses that have been meaningful to me in my life. Uh, you know, I love the parables. I, I love one of my favorite parables is when Jesus talks about the man who went into the room and sat in the front, and he mm -hmm. said, you know, it, you'd be a lot smarter if you sat in the back and let them move you to the front. And that's kind of been a, a verse that is, or, or a parable that has meant a lot to me as I have become an adult adult and and been put in a leadership position uh, you know you don't there, there's no reason to toot your own horn just do your job and be grateful and humble if good things happen to you and uh, so that's that's been meaningful in my life 